Today is a proper woodpecker day, but beaks are for birds and axes for men and women. I will give you some good uh, cleaving techniques, a hack or two, and talk about wood stacking. Let's start chopping. I already chainsaw these logs so they would fit into my fireplace lengthwise. Here you can see the video about the contraption I made to hold the logs for the chainsawing. I made it so I could flip it in after use. My fireplace is on the smaller end and the logs needs to be about a foot long. In Norway we call this a huggestubbe. I translate it to cleaving log. And cleavers prefer different sizes. Mine's about 1 foot 75, also called 50 centimeters. Cleaving logs up to 2.5 feet is normal. It is preferred to use a leaf tree wood because of the sap in the needle trees. In my opinion, leaf tree logs also last longer. I could fasten a tire to the top so the firewood won't bounce off uh, the cleaving log, or I could use some other contraption to hold the wood together. But for now, I am a purist. This is Norwegian spruce. A needle tree and in my experience the worst wood to cleave. It's sappy soft wood with lots of branches that you can see from this picture. These branches makes the wood more resistant to cleaving and will give you a good workout. Try only using the force needed to cleave the wood. Too little force and nothing happens. Too much and your axe probably will get stuck in the cleaving log. Force is something learned with experience. If it is a really tough mother, then make four good chops in the top like a cake, then flip it around and do the same there. You want the point of impact to be on the edge of the cake. Hit tough wood in the middle and your axe will most likely get stuck, bounce or the handle will get a beating. With the really hard ones, I pretend it's a battle of will and I will prevail. When you get the hold of things, you can also try using the axe to pick up logs. Use the edge of the axe to secure a good hold. Now let's talk about form. As I have been cleaving wood on and off for 25 years, things flow quite naturally. But these are more or less the stances I use. For the extreme logs, I spit in my hands for better grip. Legs wide apart. I grip the handle at the very end to get the most power out of the axe. I adjust the distance to the log, I uh, take the axe behind my back and in a gentle way lead the axe up and above your head before you slam it down with all your might and watch your prey cave in to your onslaught. If you notice I also bend my knees right before I hit gaining even more force and ensuring that the axe won't pivot into your legs if you miss it. Now repeat until all the enemy wood pieces are slaughtered into chopsticks. For other more casual wood logs, I normally do a side swing, switching between which leg is the lead leg and sides to even the strain on my body. This will normally cause a bigger misfire and the chance of hurting yourself if you are not accustomed 
to cleaving. Having a smaller axe nearby for easier logs is a good idea to switching it up and saving some strength. Once the cleaving is done, I normally load it onto my wheelbarrow and roll it over to my woodshed. There I stack it to dry over the summer months. When stacking the wood there are several things you need to be considerate of. An old Norwegian saying is that a mouse should be able to run straight through the stack, meaning lots of holes and an airy stack is preferred. Don't stack it directly on the ground or you risk that the bottom layer might rot. I prefer using my woodshed with side support for easy fast stacking. The most important is that the stack don't get wet or fall out during drying. Now it's said that firewood warms you many times when uh, felling and moving the trees when cutting them into correct sizes and then cleaving, stacking and finally when you lit the fire. I enjoy cleaving wood and it's a sign of spring and it gets my back into shape really fast. The thought of a cold winter with my family in front of the fireplace always warms my heart. Next Saturday I will do a review on my new Fiskars X25 Axe.